what's up guys and welcome back to my channel i hope that you guys are doing good should i ditch the glasses maybe i will ditch the glasses anyways i am just sitting here on my floor because i really just wanted to have a little chat with you guys obviously it's sunday it's sunday evening and i am feeling the anxiety tomorrow i'm gonna have to wake up 5 30 to go to my work and i'm actually gonna have to work yeah, usually that's what you do when you go to work, you know, you're gonna have to work, but yeah. But the anxiety of just like knowing that tomorrow I'm going to work. And this is even something what I already start feeling like when it's Saturday evening. Like I am thinking, this is the last night when I can actually get a good night of sleep. And then tomorrow I will be so stressed up because I won't be able to sleep in time. Because in order to get my beautiful nine hours of sleep, I would have to go to bed a proper approximately nine o'clock which is like right now and I would need to like fall asleep like this and that doesn't happen when you worked evening shift the week before and you are just like your internal clock is just so used to you going to bed at like 1 a.m and waking up approximately 9 a.m it is an adjustment and yeah I don't know I just wanted to talk about this because like ugh life you know so anyways and um, it's really crappy to know that next week i will just work six days in total friday is off so i work like four days off one day and then i work three days and then i think i'm off one day and then i work three days more after that like oh like that just you know for my like just knowing that that's gonna happen just makes it feel so annoying like oh like i cannot so yeah but yeah i honestly think i am not the only one experiencing like Sunday anxiety before Monday like Sunday is a really annoying day don't you think like at least for those people you know who have been off during the weekend and then Monday comes I mean I know that I'm not the only one because other people had said as well that during Sunday they just get this anxiety and they're just like oh like I need to get ready for another week like oh so annoying my father is one of them he hates sundays he's like sunday is the worst day number one because it's literally super boring number two because it's the day before monday and yeah probably that's about it but yeah Ugh, sundays are so annoying just what can i say i mean mondays are bad as well but like sundays are just like ugh. I mean, fair enough if you're free. Like, the morning of the Sunday is nice, but then the evening of the Sunday is like, no, do I really need to go back to work? Do I really need to be an adult? Do I really need to do this? Can I just like, ugh, can I just call in sick tomorrow and just be like, sorry, I can't come to work? And I kind of want to do that every single Monday, but I can't do that because, you know, obviously they're going to find a pattern and they're going to be like, why are you sick every single Monday? And I'm just like, girl, because I can't handle Mondays. Like, Mondays is just like, nah, -uh. I am not like me and Mondays. I don't do Mondays, you know, I don't. So, so freaking annoying. Like, I just cannot. And look who's home from the gym. How long were you in the gym for? No answer. Okay, great. So anyways, I think I will just start preparing my breakfast for tomorrow because I usually always fast in the morning when I go to work. Like when I'm working a morning shift, I always usually fast just because I don't want to wake up too early just to go up and eat breakfast. Like there is literally no point in that. Like going up and eating breakfast before you go to work. Like I don't want to wake up earlier just for that. Like no, 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 food is not worth it trust me food is good and i love food i love eating but like it's not worth waking up earlier it's not so i usually just always fast and that is exactly what i will be doing tomorrow as well i will be fasting until 12 o'clock and then hopefully i will be able to eat lunch i don't know yet i will see you know my work can be crazy and sometimes i just need to skip lunch because i literally have no time so yeah I will see what happens. Anyways, we'll be eating approximately around lunchtime then the first time. And then, oh, it's gonna feel so nice, you know, just a couple of hours before the end of my shift to know that soon I will be able to come home. I will be able to go to bed early. I will be able to sleep because this night I won't be sleeping. I swear to God, like I won't be sleeping because like it's impossible. It's impossible. I'm also so freaking scared every time when I go to bed that I won't be able to like 
wake up to my alarm. So unconsciously, I am just like so stressed up when I'm sleeping, you know, and I'm just, you know, like I don't want to miss my alarm. So that's why I'm barely sleeping the first night. The second night, I'm always sleeping a lot better because that's already when I'm like, you know, super tired. So I just kind of sleep and I don't really care about the world. Like, I'm just like, whatever. If I miss my alarm, I will miss it. I don't care. Like, you know, nothing matters because like, I'm just so freaking tired and I just want to sleep. So the second night usually goes a little bit better. And the second night or the second day at work also goes a lot better because then you already, you know, you got into the flow. Like the worst thing is when you're actually a couple days off and then you go back to work, it's like, Ugh, it's like torture but you know when you have already worked like seven days in a row working the eighth day it's gonna feel okay because you're like you know what this is just what i do i just wake up i just go to work and this is just my life and that works completely fine but every time when you have time off you always start questioning the day before you go to work do i really need to do this do i really need to go back to work like ugh, i cannot like ugh, i just no so yeah but like I said, once you go to work, you pass the first day, the second day is going to be easier, third day is going to be easier, the fourth day is going to be a bit like, ugh, you know, then you already hope that you will be having a day off soon. But then after the fourth and the fifth, then you're just like, okay, well, I can do one more, one more, one more. And then you just get used to it. Kind of like what you need to do with the gym. Like, you know, if you are not used to it, you just need to go to the gym and then suddenly it's like part of your routine. It's the same thing with work. You just need to make it a part of your routine and then you just, you know, you can work every day without actually having issues if you can sleep i mean if you don't like if you cannot sleep then that's gonna be an issue because like yeah then you're just not gonna be a happy person yeah oh anyways so the sun is setting and you know it's so hard to go to sleep at this time as well now because like don't get me wrong i love that it's like light around these hours but it's so much harder to go to sleep when it's light and bright like this like my brain is just like let's go and do something like let's go outside and let's go to the gym or let's i don't know like let's live life meanwhile like i'm trying to tell my brain like no it's soon time to go to sleep you need to calm yourself down you need to get tired and somehow that just doesn't really work like somehow my brain just ignores that and like i said I enjoy that it's bright and light outside. I like that. I love that. But it's really crappy when you need to go to bed early, when you are not tired. Because like, yeah, your brain thinks that it's not time to go to sleep yet. So yeah, in the summer, it's even worse. But it's a lot easier to wake up in the morning and go up when the sun is shining. And that is one very positive thing about living here in the north. Is the fact that when you wake up and when it's summer or spring like this and you wake up at 5 30 the sun is already up if it is a sunny day and that just kind of wakes your brain up and you're just like okay let's do this like you know you just wake up so much faster and that's a positive thing even if you like slept for three hours your brain is still like okay well it must be day because it's really bright outside so yeah you know it comes with its cons pros and cons bam anyway so i feel like this has been a productive rant but i think i'm probably done I'm probably done with my rant anyways plans for tomorrow right after this right after this what's it called plans right after when i come home tomorrow from work is to sit on the couch not do anything because i literally gone to the gym like six times this week that's a lot that's a lot that's too much so tomorrow I will literally be doing nothing. I will go to bed early, like I said. I will cook a very nice dinner and I will enjoy it and I will eat it with grace. And um, then after that, I will be going to bed and I will be digesting my beautiful food. Pasta to be exact, because that is what I have planned to eat tomorrow. I don't know, I just crave pasta so much. But yeah, so I will be digesting my beautiful pasta in my belly. Meanwhile, I will be lying on the bed and just relaxing, watching my series and just, you know, being like, wow, you did it. You actually made it through this Monday. Now we can do Tuesday. Anyways, with that said, I hope that you guys will have a great Monday and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, maybe you feel better now having Sunday anxiety. Anyways, so make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Ciao, ciao.